Hi, Holly. Hello. Hello. You say hi. You turn your face. Oh, look at the Holly. Look at my Holly. Oh, she's so cute. It's Maggie and today's video is a requested one from somebody who commented a few videos back I think on how I get my nails to not look so terrifying. <laughs> my nails unfortunately, uh, I think I'm missing some sort of nutrient or something. Uh, my nails tend to break as soon as they grow and they peel off and they're really just not very pretty. So I do my nails. They look a lot nicer. Zach loves them because they're great for back scratches. As you can see, they're very pointy. So I'm going to show you how I go from short, uh, not very pretty nails to long and luxurious, pretty, whatever you want to call them. So stay tuned. All right, I'm going to start by showing you all the items that I use for my nails. Um, I got all of this online and I got it for uh, not too pricey an amount so you know I don't like to spend a lot of money on manicures and that's the whole reason I do them at home um, and that allows me to change the color or the shape or whatever I want a little bit more often than if I were to go to a salon. Alright so for the nails I use these fake nails <laughs> they are stiletto shaped they're huge um, some of the nails are actually that size if you can tell, I have very, very tiny hands, so I have to use the smallest size. Um, I don't even think I go into the bigger, bigger ones are up here and the smaller ones are down here. Um, and this has a ton of them in there, so this will last you a very long time. And I believe that this was around $7.58 on Amazon. Alright, let me open it up so you can actually see the nails in here. They're just clear. This is what they look like. They're very easy to cut and reshape if you don't like the shape of them. They're a little bit too long for me, so I do cut these and file them down. To get these babies to stick, I will use some nailing glue. Uh, I got a new bottle because my last one was getting a little bit uh, chunky there <laughs> but I find that this works the best for my nails my nails tend to be very peely and nail polish really doesn't stick to it too well because they're so flexible and weak um, but this has been the best glue and I believe it this was about two dollars on Amazon I also use individual nail polish remover pads I think that these work the best just because of the felt that they use um, it really just removes any oil on the nail and if you have to do any touch-ups it will stay wet even after you've opened the package so you can just do your touch-ups as needed. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I believe it was around 25 to a pack and maybe it was like $10. can hear my chickens in the background, can you? <laughs> For nail polish, my favorite brand has been Color Club, which is, I think it's sold at Walmart, but I buy mine online. Um, they had a sale for Black Friday, in case anybody saw that. I was very tempted to get new colors, but I didn't. I'm proud. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite colors, though, because it's holographic, and it is called Spell It Out. Very pretty. Usually wear it in the summer, but I don't care. Looks like frosty snow, right? Maybe some ice? I don't know. And even though these don't really peel, um, the acrylic nails don't peel so much, I do use a top coat, and this is the Seche Vive? Vive? I don't know. I am due for a new bottle of this because it is a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit sticky there, but it's still working, and I believe that I got this at Sally Beauty. I don't know if they're all over the country or not, but I'm sure that you could find this online. I think it's the best top coat. Um, and it tends to dry really quickly, even on regular nails, but on the fake nails, 
the polish and this tend to dry super quick. And the last thing I'll use is an emery board. This is one of those glass ones. Works pretty well for the purpose I use it for, so yep. All right, the first step that I'm gonna do is take the oil off of my nails so the fake nails have the best chance of sticking. So I'm gonna open this guy up and we're gonna clean our nails. Won't take long. All right, I'm just gonna set this little pad aside. Like I said, it stays wet for a decent amount of time. So just in case, I'm gonna put it over there. All right, everybody does this a little bit different and there are so many methods to do this. I like gluing the nails on first because I think that um, it just makes it easier when I go to shape them and paint them. But some people like to just kind of temporarily place the nail on um, shape it, paint it so they don't have to wait for them to dry. That all works pretty well, but I'm going to glue the nails on first, cut them, shape them when they're on, and then finally paint them. So of course I use the ittiest bittiest little tiny nails. They're super cute. And even then they're kind of big. Can you see that? It's a little bit big, but I make it work. So I'm going to glue all of these on to my nails, and I always do a drop of the glue on my nail, and then a drop of glue on the fake nail, and that tends to give the best bond. And I just push the nail on, make sure it's actually secure. I put enough glue that it, it does leak out a little bit here, but I want to make sure that there are no bubbles. Sometimes if there are bubbles underneath the nail where there isn't glue, water can actually get trapped in there. It will destroy your nail, so I try to avoid that. Alright, I'm going to show you one more time and then I'll do the rest of the nails off camera. All right, so my nails are all glued on and they're super long, so we're going to shape them. Let me just move this out of the way. So I use a large nail cutter set and then I use that glass emery board. This also helps because I tend to not always glue the nails on straight, so one is like cockeyed a weird way. And if I cut them while they're on, I can kind of straighten it out. <laughs> So I'm going to take my nail cutters and I'm going to start on the first nail that I glued so that way I know it's probably the one that's on there the strongest. And I make two cuts. I start by doing a cut like this. So I go in at an angle to try and make the stiletto point uh, remain. And I'm going to come in on the other side and do the exact same thing. So if you can see that, I still have the stiletto point, but the nail is so much shorter and so much more comfortable now. And then I just file it because the point tends to be very uh, pointy and you could stab somebody with it. Alright, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. Um, I'm going to do this on the rest of the nails. Alright, I have the nails all shaped, all cut up, and they are ready to be painted. I'm so excited! Hopefully you can actually see this, because I feel like that light is washing us out. I'm doing my best for a nail tutorial. So I'm just going to shake that bottle of nail polish, and we're going to start painting like we would a regular old nail.
right, I let my nails dry for just a couple minutes. Like I said, they dry a lot faster when they're on the fake nail than regular nails. Maybe that's a me thing, but <laughs> that's what I've noticed. So I'm going to come in with my top coat, that sachet vive whatever, and I'm just going to do a top coat on all the nails, and then I'm pretty much done. I just let them dry, and I'm good to go. Alright, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you have any ideas on how to make your nails healthier or how you kind of do your own manicures, let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.